Hello and welcome to 3 Dot TV. I am your host Shakha Singh. Virtual digital assets have once again started to move towards lofty levels over the last 24 hours on perky investor sentiment. The optimism about spot Bitcoin ETF filings by BlackRock and other financial services giants in mid-June and other mildly crypto-friendly events during the month are once again fueling the rally in crypto markets. Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, made a dash towards $31,000 mark, adding nearly 2% in over an hour. The oldest cryptocurrency was recently trading at $30,365, up 0.87%. It had scaled to 13-month peak, about $31,500 last week, after the multiple spot Bitcoin ETF filings boosted investor optimism. Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency, was in striking distance of $1,900 mark. It last quoted at 1.93% higher at $1,891. Now let's also have a look at how the global crypto market has impacted the other smaller altcoins. First on the list we have PancakeSwap. Automated market maker PancakeSwap has partnered with Google Cloud to ensure the availability and reliability of its infrastructure. Following this announcement, Cake is trading at $1.55 up 5% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $317 million. PancakeSwap leverages a Google's Kubernetes engine to scale its nodes quickly and accurately predict traffic spikes with the help of Predict Cube solution from Dysonix. Dysonix Predict Cube solution enabled PancakeSwap to predict traffic spikes and automate blockchain node scaling to manage traffic surges. This approach ensured high scalability and 99.99% uptime with Dysonix predicting over 90% of the spikes. The solution also reduced infrastructure costs by over 30%. Moving on, blockchain protocol Terra Classics, the joint L1 task force, also known as L1TF, which is Terra Classics' core developer group, has issued an update on their progress and future plans for quarter two. In the upcoming quarter, the developer group aims to focus on reducing the circulating supply of LUNC and USDC. Terra Classic was trading 3% up in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $438 million. L1TF project manager LUNC Burn Army announced tasks from June 26th to July 11th with a focus on upgrading Astropod's smart contract before trans transitioning to the quarter 3 roadmap. A quarter to end of quarter update will provide a comprehensive review of completed tasks. The L1TF is stabilizing the impact of Cosmovasma parity upgrade and has integrated a pull request for seamless token swaps between LUNC and USDC using TerraSwap through TFL station. The L1TF is also working on burn tax split, DA app whitelisting, contract upgrades and supporting the con team for USDC repeg. Unused funds will be returned to the community pool which currently holds over 525 million LUNC. Moving on, dog-themed cryptocurrency Shiba Inu and Bitcoin were among the top two most traded crypto assets on the Wazirx crypto trading platform in June. Shiba Inu was trading at 1.20% higher in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $4.45 billion. Analysts believe amid the boring state in the crypto market, Shiba Inu investors continue to buy and sell hefty amounts of both crypto assets on different trading platforms daily and monthly. This growing interest in SHIB is estimated to be due to the upcoming Shibarium mainnet launch as investors speculate a price surge. Likewise, the team has promised that more substantial developments and projects would be onboarded into the Shiba ecosystem post-mainnet Shibarium launch. Moving on, decentralized trading protocol Uniswap has rolled out its vision for Uniswap version 4 after confirming that progress is still ongoing with the next generation model. Uniswap was trading at $5.22, up 2% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $3 billion. After processing over $1.5 trillion in trading volume two years after launching Uniswap version 3, which primarily catered to on-chain liquidity and the DeFi, the Uniswap protocol has become the largest decentralized exchange system. According to Uniswap estimations, version 4 greatly cuts pool construction gas expenses by 99%. While hooks give the network endless possibilities, the singleton architecture allows the efficient routing across all pools. 
Last on the list, we have Ethereum scaling solution Polygon has demonstrated a notable upward trend, achieving an impressive surge of 24% in the last seven days alone. Despite concerns of potential delisting from Revolve's US platform following its classification as a security by the Securities and Exchange Commission earlier this month, Polygon was trading at $0.78, up near 9% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $6 billion. Polygon 2.0 updates may bring matic growth in late 2023, but 88% of Polygon addresses may face losses if they sell their tokens at the current market price, analysts believe. Polygon addresses have shown an upward trend with an 8.56% surge in the past week. Over the past 30 days, an average of 565,000 matic addresses have been documented. In the last seven days, there has been a 7.8% decrease in active addresses and a 24% decrease in MATIC addresses without recorded transactions. However, there has been 18.7% increase in newly created address. Overall, the Polygon network is experiencing growth and stability. That's all in today's special segment. For more such updates, follow 3.0TV or log on to our website www.freeverse.tv.io or scan the QR code to know more.